Hello, in the last video we saw how to train a neural net model. In this video we are going to train a similar neural net model to be able to recognize images. To do that we need a lot of lots of images and we have to give as an observation and label to our neural net. In order to do that we have this CIFAR 10 data set which was created by Mr. Alex Grzyzewski Vinod Nair and Jeffrey Hinton and this this data set can be used to train our neural net model. The data set is available on this website and it can be downloaded as well. Please note that you don't have to download it. It's available in Keras library in Python. So this is a data set wherein you have different classes of data set. There are 10 classes starting from airplane, automobile, to truck. So there are 10 different classes and each class has 6000 images. So 6000 images to each class wherein 50,000 images that means 5000 per class is for training and 1000 per class is our test images. In all this data set has 60,000 images, 50,000 for training and 10,000 for testing. The images work in such, such a way that you have six, you have x axis or x for training the image, the image itself, and y as the label. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now, let's understand how the images work. So, how the neural net model works. What the neural net does is it takes an image, this is a sample image, and for every pixel, it notes down the RGB which is red, green and blue value of the pixel. And these pixels are then converted into an array and these are used for training purposes. I repeat one more time, how to train an image? For the image, every pixel there is a value component of RGB and this component is then used for training a neural net. So you take a picture, take the value of each pixel, red, green and blue, and then use this for training purposes. So let us see, we have been using collab.research.google.com and this notebook, the Python notebook is available on a Google Drive link. The link is mentioned in the video description section of this video. Now we're gonna import all the required libraries Keras TensorFlow. Please note that Keras.datasets has CIFAR 10. The CIFAR 10 is over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to load the dataset from here. And the dataset is loading. It's going to take some time. And in the meanwhile, let's go back on here. Please note that it's an it's going to be an array. So X train, Y train. X is the input which is the image and y is the observation which is the label. Now I'm going to show you in a few minutes as well but for the image the index of airplane is 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3 so on the truck is the ninth index. I repeat airplane is coded as number 0 and truck is coded as number 9 which makes it 10 different classes. So let me show you. Let's plot an image and this is the 11th image in the X train. So in the training data set let us plot the 11th image and you see that it's a horse. Now let's print how the RGB component looks like and if you look at it these are the pixel values. This is the pixel values of this picture. 142, 149 and 152 is the top left and so on and so forth. If you look at it, it's it, the last pixel which is on the right bottom. This pixel has a value of 158, 124, 158 and this is the pixel value. So you saw the image and you have the pixel value. Let's look at the label. The label is Y train. And please note that it says 7. 7, so let's do it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
it's a horse so i took one image showed you how the rgb component looks like and it's a horse now in the next here what we are going to do is because it's seven i don't want to see it as seven i want to classify it as a binary classification so let's look at it so there are 10 number of classes and let's do it for so for three this is before this is three here if you look at zero one two three the data three is now being categorized like this what this means is there are 10 classes so there are 10 values and for the image where it belongs to let's say three it will show you the the value let's let's print what it looks for our horse now so remember seven let's print this one so you look at it seven this is zero one two three four five six seven so all the values would be there the values which it belongs to will be one and others would be zero this is to make the model train easy and then please note that i am dividing all the values all the matrix values by 255 the reason is normalization we have to normalize the value so that it is in the range of 0 to 1 why we did that it's available in our previous videos take a look there all right now let's initialize the model please note that in this model we are using very similar concept as we did last time but last time we just had one single neuron in this we have layers so the first layer is the flattened structure which is the x second layer has 124 activation nodes next is 128 nodes and the last is 10 please note that you can have any number over here but the last one has to be 10 because there are different 10 different types of classes that's why the last layer the dense should be 10 always if you are using 10 classes if you have 11 then it will be number 11 so one node for every output now let's compile and train the model loss we are using binary cross entropy because there are 10 different nodes and it can have 10 different values and i'm using rms prop optimizer and we're going to talk about optimizers in the advanced videos and learning rate is 0.001 let's train in the model i'm training the model with 20 epochs so we have to run this we have not run this yet that's why it says model is not defined now you can run this one there you go and the epochs will start now it's going to take some time i'm pausing my video so it's going to take some time please note that if you go to runtime say change runtime type make sure you have gpu selected otherwise a cpu will take a lot of lot of time and this is one of the benefits of using collab.research.google.com even if your laptop or computer does not have a gpu you can still utilize the capabilities of gpu online no installations right so again i'm going to pause it because it's going to go for 20 epochs interesting we are getting the accuracy in the range of 90 89 percent 90 percent and after 10 epochs we were 91.32 percent which is good enough give you giving you a very interesting thing this was one of the competition questions or competition competition challenges on kaggle and the i think the best percentage they were able to obtain was is was in 80s so right now we have 90s which is very very good enough all right so 20 epochs have completed you can see that after this 89 the rate of increment wasn't that high it was 91.454346 and as soon as it hit here it kind of stabilized around 91.5 percent which is which is not bad now let's run this one and see how much it says on the test data 
please note that this was training on the test data i'm getting an accuracy of 90 percent with a loss of 26 0.26 which is which is good good to get our thing going now let's look at the summary and this is the model summary we have flattened dense dense one and dense two you know these are some good uh, things to take a look at it so it was a sequential model remember we defined sequential over here so sequential so it was a sequential model and we had three layers and finally we were able to train the model with 90 percent accuracy even on test which is I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this now let's do a prediction what we will do is we will use images which this computer model has not seen so let's pick up pick an airplane automobile and let's see what happens i'm going to go to google and search for airplane go to images and download an image of airplane uh let's say this one and i'm going to download this and then i'm going to download a bird and let me download this bird this is looking good so i'm going to save this image as well so both the images have been downloaded now i don't want you to go through this code you can utilize this code what it does is it allows you to upload an image which we just downloaded so this section is predicting and this is predicting what this image is and then it's going to print the classes please note that based on what class it is it's going to tell me if it's a bird or a horse or whatever it is let's do that let's run this and when you run it you would see that there is an option which says choose files so based on this content i'm able to create this and i'm going to select the files so i'm going to select uh, the airplane which i downloaded or bird let's use the bird and you can see that it says it's a bird the reason it says it's a bird because if you look at this one this is zero zero and this is one and except for that everything else is zero and therefore it says it's a bird let's rerun it and let's give it a truck as an input <laughs> 